Welcome back. Well, we're going to play uh, the Shogi Hall Championship with our friend Abigail. Uh, so this will be good fun. Um, he's on a six-win streak, so uh, it'll be a good game. Good luck. All right. We're going to stick with Old Faithful here. <laughs> oh boy. This will be exciting for us both. Okay. Well, I mean, I kind of sort of anticipated this. Okay, I don't have Discord open. That's good. Um, so... Hmm. This perplexes me. This perplexes me. I think this will be fine. No, I'm not deliberately playing Urashino. But we might end up there. <laughs> um Well, well, willy well. All right. Um, I do at some point have to pick where I'm going to castle. Um, hmm. Decisions are part of this game. And I'm trying to decide where I want my rook. Having played a zillion games, having played um, arranging rook, here I'm sorely tempted to deviate. Yeah, this is interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's check out the comment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just thinking. This is interesting. <laughs> yeah. This is possibly a really interesting position. Um. I mean, yeah, I should move. But, uh, it's fine. Okay, we're going to open this file here and check on what the next comment is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. Yeah, it's good to check. Um... So 
so I'm gonna play this up a bit. They do say push all the odd file pawns. Or they don't say push all the odd file pawns, they say push the odd file pawns. But still, this looks interesting. Wait. If that moves up here, we're going to see like a transposition to that duck castle thing. Or duck legs. <laughs> what the hell? We are deep in somewhere. Um... Hmm. I'm trying to decide exactly how many I moves how many moves I have to shuffle my pieces before he attacks me. And in that decision, I'm trying to figure out, do I play uh, opposing rook, or do I play third file rook? I mean, I could move the rook anywhere and then move it again. That would not be unheard of. In fact, you're supposed to, like, not keep your rook fixed in one position when you find a better place for it. The key is when you find the better place for it, that's the correct time to move. Hmm.
You might ask what my plan is. I do have a plan. It's a pretty strange one. <sighs> We're just going to shove everything on the side of the board. Get the messiest attack ever. Normally, you would tuck the king into the corner. I have a different idea. In light of the special circumstances in this position. There's another piece that can go in that corner. So... Into the wild blue yonder we go. And he obliges. So, yeah. We're going to get some tactics, I'll tell you what. Um, Possibly this position is very suspect, because, like, my king's right in the thick of it all. But what matters here is speed, and I do have a lot pointing at this corner. Um... The unfortunate bit here is that somehow if my bishop trades for the rook, um, he's pretty well defended against rook drops. And it's a bit difficult for me to defend against a bishop drop. So I have to, like, be careful. Well, okay, now suddenly I could rook drop if I had a rook. Um, hmm.
it makes sense for him to build a solid castle while I do all this nonsense. Because <sighs> a quick attack is not going to prevail against a solid castle. It just isn't. Wait, if I push the 8th and then the 7th pawn, um, that would allow me to take them both, and then he drops two new pawns in my face, and I get nowhere. I knew that. Um, I mean, some positions that's a thing. Here it's not. Okay, we're going to build Center Castle, for lack of a name. Now it has a name. Now we can mock the name that I just tried to provide it. Okay, well, the idea here is that either if I take or if, if I don't, there's still going to be a pawn on this square next which allows my lance to be captured if this diagonal opens. Um, Also, maybe this is an attempt to transition castles. Uh, <laughs> well, perhaps we pull out that idea I had earlier, pushing this pawn. And then push this pawn, and my rook takes every one of the pawns. I think that's my only way forward here. I forgot that a general on the square would defend all three squares. <laughs> all right, we're going to see some tactics then. Um, hopefully I can find some. Also, we're in Biyomi. That's cool. Ah, it's fine. All right. It's not fine. Let's pretend it is, though. Mm
30秒。40秒。Oh, right. I knew that. Okay, well, we got two pawns in hand. That's worth hopefully more than having one pawn in hand. Um, I found a way that I could get my knight developed without hanging it. How about that? <laughs> Almost every game I hang my knight. Not this game. At least it's going to take more than one move to hang it. You'll exchange pawns and then put a pawn on my knight's head and then I'll cry. But, um, yeah, at least I tried. <laughs> Maybe I pushed the edge pawn. Oh, interesting. I mean, yeah, there is merit to pushing this, for sure. Basically begged him to do it. Um, uh, so I take it my third foul pawn push is no good here. If it were good, we would know by now, right? What puzzles me? Oh, his point is that he wants to put a pawn back here again. That's clever. Or maybe he didn't have that purpose behind his move, but it has the same effect anyway. I didn't really have much of a choice with that one. Um... This feels like such a wasted move, but I don't see anything better. Oh, shit, my center hangs. Well, um, at the very least, like, his king is in an awkward situation this moment. You... 
He is tempting me very sorely. I mean, as beautiful as my rook is, it's not functional. A rook over here would devastate my side of the board. I can't just do that. Uh, destiny is sad. Uh, I've had worse positions than this one. It'll be fine. I can always take the pawn next turn. Oh. Oh, I missed a move. Okay. Am I going to miss it two turns in a row? I think not. Deep breath, drink of water. Assess what he's up to. I don't understand. I mean, I have the vaguest concept of what he's up to, but... All right. Here we go. Let's do it. And the fireworks. So he's going to try to checkmate me. I'm going to try to take all his pieces. See who prevails. Mm. I don't like my plan. <laughs>
This is called bringing a shogi piece to a chess match. I love my chess pieces. They're so powerful. I guess he does have a way out of it. Probably shouldn't have bragged too much, but still. This position is so exciting. Uh, yeah, no, it was necessary to pull this silver back. Jeez, that was intense. Shouldn't slip now. I mean, I already slipped. Like, rook drop there would have made it, right? <sighs> if I could just calm down a bit, maybe I could play well. Oh, this game is so exciting. Take my time, patience. Someday I've got to start making this game more difficult for myself. Yeah, I saw that this could be ensnared. What I missed... I mean, moving this is obviously risky. Um, I just assumed that this risk was not worth it. Um, I mean, it probably still isn't. Probably that move is too risky. It just causes the castle to collapse. Um, Sanjugyo. 
30秒。40秒50秒12秒1 2 What? I don't understand. Oh, he needs a silver, is the meaning of this. He needs something to hold up his castle. That's what this means. All right, uh, I get it. I get it. And this is why he put the knight there. He's threatening to repeat the tactic with another knight, if I'm not careful. Mm.
Yeah, I don't think that silver can move right now. And that's a problem. Sanjugyo. It's super annoying, but this bishop fork forces me to pull back. Occasionally, prudence is the answer. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I think I did that wrong. It'll be okay, but I did not do this correctly. Sanjugyo
If this doesn't checkmate, I should be embarrassed. Oh, hang on. There's actually a straightforward mate here, isn't there? Good game. Jeez, that was wild. Holy moly, that came out of nowhere. What an adventure. Okay. So, that'll show everyone who tells me to castle, right? <laughs> No, I did form something of a castle, but, um, yeah, that was pretty nuts. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, that hurt. Yeah, I was looking at taking the gold with the rook, and I'm like, oh, I'm stressed out. But there's probably a mate there. Um... Yeah, that was a wild encounter. I think I blundered in the middle game. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, possibly I had moments uh, like that too. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was a pretty wild game. But yeah. Um. For sure, if I castled, we wouldn't have adventures like this. Oh yeah, the the fact that I trapped the gold. That was a really cool looking move. Uh... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling you were trying for it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I like you know, maybe no, maybe I like let's let's try to force uh, both of us to think a bit. Uh, I thought a bit. I blundered. You blundered. We all blundered. This is why we're key level players right now. Uh -huh. Well, I think uh, earlier I, uh, one of my bishop forks was a mistake. Um, But yeah, this is pretty crazy. Um, I am not sure where uh, both kings belong. The whole concept is well, I'm not sure. Um, what was the move number where I did the bishop fork that just didn't work? Yeah, this was a mistake on my part. Yeah. 
Um, <laughs> uh, uh, so maybe your idea is uh, fine after all, but we both blunder. Uh, so this is how things go. Uh, yeah. I just think it's unclear. Where is the unclear thing? Do, 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 do. Uh... There's not even an unclear thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just use the template there because I'm like, there's got to be somewhere in there that, like, there's a mention of I have no idea. Uh, my king is stranded, uh, too. Yep. Yeah. You know which side of this I would be playing. It's the side that has all the pieces and is getting mated. <laughs> That's just my style. Um, I mean, that kind of held true this game, too. But then somehow I pulled it off with all the pieces, so. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I probably would not have tried to win the rook this way. Probably would have just grabbed the knight and promoted the bishop. Even so, uh, he's got plenty of pieces, so it's playable uh, for both players, but confusing. Super duper confusing. Um, yeah, I have no idea. You know, uh, well, it's... So Shogi Harbor is going to be off Sunday because of an upcoming game, but sometime this would be a fun position to pose to Shogi Harbor. Ask, like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> or really the game. It'd be interesting to get thoughts. Um, yeah, the Bishop Fork was original. It reminds me of one of my earliest games on the site where I accidentally did that to some Don level player. Uh, with well, their king in the one corner and the rook in the other, and I just did some bishop drop just by a miracle. I still lost the game because I was terrible, but it was incredible getting to do that. I think it was a down-level player. I might be overstating things, but either way, I was super intimidated. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta pick one. Well, hmm. <laughs> yeah, this is what I'm looking at. Ultimately, that's going to get played at some point. I don't know if now's the right time to play it, but that's coming. And pieces trade, maybe. Uh, since, like, uh, the silver is overworked. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah, the fork between the dragon and Sume was pretty great. 
I was so excited to play that. You saw that in the game, but it's flawed. But it might still work. It might still be playable. It's just super confusing. Yeah. So I need to attack from the front. Uh, I need to, like, go over this way. Oh! Nice. Yeah, that's a good place to tuck me in the king. That's a really good thought. Yeah. Wow. That puts my castle to shame. I mean, my king felt comfortable in the center of the board, surrounded by four generals, right? Um, but, yeah, that was nuts. Uh, so a reminder of spectators, this tournament is a double elimination format. So probably at some point in the future, we'll get a rematch. <laughs> we'll see. Um, and so much to read. Um, so I'm thinking what? Can I just do this here? Uh, and I can maybe do this. Okay, and then perhaps now I take here? And I guess this is the thought. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is the Shogi Hall Rio. Rio, ooh, however you say that. Yeah, maybe someday we'll learn to castle. Uh, someday. Uh, uh, right away with the knight. Um, well, yeah, maybe. I mean, what do I do here, right? <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty convincing. I guess I have to take here straight away. And this is pretty special, to put it mildly. Um, I mean, nobody wants to play a move like this, but I think I kind of have to. And that's quite, quite sad. But I mean, what can I do? I just, like, his attack is pretty compelling there.
I mean, that's kind of my line of thought. It's like, I don't really know how to improve this situation. That attack was quite strong, and this actually seems to slow it down. Nothing else seems to. Probably. I mean, maybe there's a way to attack without the bishop, but... Yeah, it'll take me a while to reorganize my castle to get this free again. He says, as he goes for an edge file attack, <laughs> just completely ignoring everything. Um... Yeah, screw it. I have no idea. There's got to be something, but what? Is it good or bad to be... Yeah, I, it's... I wouldn't have done it unless, like, he played all four generals here and stuck his bishop on a closed diagonal. And then I'm like, you know, maybe I can do this. Is it a good idea? Uh... Can't really recommend it. Um, but yeah, my next thought here is that I'm going to move my king back. <laughs> it's that kind of a special position. Um, See? The king's not on 4-8. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, uh, oh, there you go. See, he manages to activate his pieces after all. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Hey, free pawn. Nothing can go wrong if I take this pawn. Hmm. See? Everything's fine. That's the everything is fine pawn that you can just take for free. Yep, nothing could possibly go wrong here. I should learn my edge file tactics better than this, but it still feels like maybe I've got something. Incidentally, promoting might not help. <laughs> promoting might be the wrong move there, you just knight takes instead. But anyway... Um... Mm -hmm. And this is where tactics get real.
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, a mutual attack. Well, I just gave away a pawn, didn't I? I didn't need to do that. It would help if I could read. <laughs> yeah. 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 I agree. So I wonder though, maybe back here, I think I'm supposed to take this. thing. <laughs> My king running away suddenly looks quite good. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've got a mate threat here now. Funny how that worked. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... <sighs> yeah, 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 that makes sense the king runs. Gotta run faster than that. But yeah, I think he's got the better side of this. Did I miss a knight eight four opportunity? Almost certainly. Uh, yeah, this is pretty crazy. Uh, what should we name my castle? <laughs> this thing. It's got to have a name. I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's still Mino. Okay, yeah, you're right. It's Mino just with a silver attachment. Yeah, you're absolutely right. So, yeah. Um, this time I didn't even bother putting the king in the corner uh, over here. 
that seems to have worked for the best since we're playing opposite side um, rooks. Like, we're playing I for Visha, double swinging rook, so it makes sense that, um, you know, speed matters more than sometimes than putting your king in your ideal castle. Um, yeah, yeah, it sure looks that way. Oh, dear. Oh, it's incomplete. Yeah, you're right. I didn't ever push the edge pawn. So maybe mini. Mini castle. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> mini Mino. <laughs> oh. So, yeah. I wonder what else it he's interested in looking at, because this is a wild game. I'm really not sure. I spotted a couple tactics I got very excited about. Um, mostly because I'm playing against such a uh, qualified opponent. Yeah, toward the game end, I noticed. Um, so just incidentally, all my pawn pushes finally helped out. Yeah, yeah, well... It's a little tricky, but yeah, speed is of the essence. I wonder, um, so like back here-ish somewhere, maybe here with the idea of this cutting off a file. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know what else. Ah, uh, with any luck, we'll face again. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is pretty wild. What an adventure. So, I mean, yeah, we could stick this game uh into some GUI and have an engine annotate it. I probably will at some point, because it was just such an exciting game. Uh quite the improvement over the mating attacks we had in previous games. Yeah. Uh, indeed. <laughs> That's the plan. We gotta beat everybody else in Shogi Hall so we can face each other again. What are the odds? Uh, <laughs> yeah. How do the rules work? Um... You'd have to join the Shogi Hall channel to get all the rules information, but there's like four tournaments concurrently going, and the top X players move on to something else. I don't remember. Uh, but yeah, this particular format is a double elimination, I think, with six players.
Uh, now, this is my first game. This is Abigail's second game. Uh, he won his first game. So, out of six players, if we both won a game, um, we're both doing okay. Um, uh, well, I wonder what the crucial point of this game was. I mean, it's like way the heck back up the stack from here, but... Um, maybe part of it was time management related. Uh, 60 seconds, yo, yummy. It's quite a lot. Uh, it is useful for me. Um, yeah. I think that might have been the downfall. It's just we had both had some hasty moves. Um, so if I think about it, if there are six players, then that means you're going to have one round where nobody gets a limit. No, okay, so six players. Um, there will have to be a total of ten wins at least to knock out all the players. So I'm trying to think how many games that might be. But yeah, I've probably got a few more games to go. And probably all the remaining opponents in this top section of Shogi Hall are going to be quite fierce. Uh, I spent too much time. <laughs> but it worked. Um... Yeah. That opening had me thinking, because I'm like, well, I want a castle, but I'm not sure which castle I do. And I considered maybe trying a left-hand castle for once and doing static work. I'm like, no, that doesn't really match with anything I've done previously. So this is where we've ended up. Um... Yeah, the pawn drop winning the gold was pretty epic. Yeah. Makes sense. Oh, sorry, I should be following this. Yeah, you have to be cautious when you don't get your typical castle. Uh, even if this is equal. If it is. It's a surprise. So that makes sense that this could be the turning point. My king is still super prone and stuff. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Well, not sure what more to say, but I think he is correct. My attack, for once, was like extremely slow, despite having all these pawn pushes, or maybe because of that. I did eventually settle on moving the knight forward, but yeah. Ah. We need an engine to solve the endgame. Uh... Uh, 
have good luck in uh, next games. Cool. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Let me join your stream. Ah, right. Thanks. Yeah, so what in a game, what an adventure. Um yeah. Tons and tons and tons of moves. Um can I find the here it is. Large pieces. Yeah. I played third file rook after debating do I wanna like play fourth file, third file? I'm sorry, do I wanna play opposing rook or facing rook here on the eighth on this second file or do I play in the third file? Settled on this. This is like super weird. Um, yeah, I didn't think. Like I expected maybe this or this or something, but um, it's all very confusing at this point. So I got to play my crazy bishop move, and then close the diagonal, and it actually held. And yeah, this gold marched forward, and Abigail pointed out in post-game analysis how like this uh, might be more solid way to hold the castle together. Uh, we looked at a bunch of stuff. I don't know that I have many other variations to add because this is all super confusing. Um, yeah, truth be told, like I was in Bioyomi this whole time. I expected Bishop takes Rook. I didn't have things planned for other moves. I knew I could find something, but I didn't have it all worked out. Um, so we ended up here. Uh, he took my knight. I got this tactic. I think this could have been pretty crazy. Um, and I am still threatening the mate back there, but I'm also... Well, it's not mate anymore, but I'm also hitting this rook. And this is just insane. You basically need an engine to figure out some of the stuff that happened this game. I missed, surely I missed tons of mates. Viewers will all let me know, but I'm also going to put the game through an engine uh, to tell me exactly what happened. Um, now, where was it? Oh. Um, yes, yeah, so this pawn drop. He is saying that he needs a silver. Uh, wait, no, backing up, backing up. There's one that I can figure out, and that's right here. Oh, but I don't have the rook. Oh, I was beating myself for missing this tactic that isn't even here. Okay, I was thinking, yeah, if I just drop the rook on 5-1 instead of taking the rook, um, that's not how it works. Okay, so I was beating myself over missing, missing that. Also, welcome, Abigail. Um, I used to think that you picked Ranging Rook because I wanted to play it timidly. <laughs> uh, tune into my chess streams. Let's put it that way. Uh, I mean, yeah, I have played Fourth Foul Rook quite a lot. But uh, I do welcome the nonsense even if I fret the entire time that the nonsense happens. Um, so... Was this a position where I had a thing? I wonder. Eh, we'll put this into an engine. It'll figure out all this stuff. I don't have to solve every one of these positions. Huh. <laughs> So, yeah, eventually I did put the rook down here. I mean, to some degree I should be proud of what I achieved with this particular mating attack. There was a nice aesthetic to that, but there's a better way about all of this. Also, just to complete the motif, like, this is the thematic thing. Just remove all the generals from this part of the board. And show that we don't need any stinking rook. Um, so yeah, that could work too. 
he says. Um, but no, I'd read out, and then regardless which square he goes to, I just put both of my generals down here. Um, so, yeah, that works too. Uh, when the knight was on 6 4. When the knight was on 6 4. So. Um, let's see, 6, 4 would be here. Oh, I tried to. Um, what did I play? I played this. Yeah, I definitely considered it. How did the game play here? This, this takes... I considered it here to, well, here it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, after silver 5 2. Yeah. I did. Um, let's take a look at this. So I was quite excited during the game about this possibility. Quite excited. Um, oh. Nice. Wow. Silver 6-3 works, too. Yeah, Silver 6-3 was the one that, like, right before I played my move, I was looking at this. Uh, yeah, I don't think it matters whether I promote or not. Um, yeah, this is the most beautiful way to end it. Because now we've got one, two and a third hitting that square. Like this, yeah, this is, in my mind, the most aesthetic uh, conclusion. Like, it's Gota's move, they're not even in check. I'm sorry, yeah, it's Gota's move. And um, there's no stopping this mate. I mean, I guess you could try this. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, the most beautiful way is a mate, you say. Uh, I, I like this. This is... Uh, it reminds me, like, chess puzzles, they quite enjoy how um, you can make a quiet move and it it's not a check. In this case, it is a capture, but still. Um, in general, non-checking, non-capturing moves tend to be ineffective. So in chess, we celebrate the ones that do work. Um, but yeah, in Shogi, we just celebrate checkmate. Because that's what ends the game. All right, and yeah, at this point, either, let's see, you're recommending gold takes six, two, or promoted silver takes six two is what you're saying. Yeah. Oh, but I want Hishi. Hishi's beautiful. The notion that, like, it's your opponent's move. They can play anything, and yet there's no escape. It's just so rare. I mean, this is torture. You don't do that. You're, you want to checkmate at this point. But there is some elegance when a he-she is quite effective. Yeah. Yeah, I can still do the rook sack on 6-1. How does this work? How does this work? 
given my armada of generals. I mean, I'm going to have the knight in golden hand, and I'll probably need at least some of that to pull this off. Um, well, no, three silver should be enough. Three silver should be enough, right? I set myself a challenge here. Don't use the gold or the knight. Can this still work? Um, <laughs> Silver 6-3, mates. Yeah, just drop the knight. It's the way to do it. Yeah, so I would need to use something other than my silvers. I can't just use the three silvers all by themselves. I would need to supplement that with another piece. Which I have, and that's fine. But, um, yeah, since I can use the other pieces, let's start with this one. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's helping or hindering me, but I'm just considering, like, there might be some other game where my opponent doesn't place a knight. They put, like, a bishop or a rook or some other piece here. And I want to know, like, in general, like, what is and is not a checkmate here. But yeah, here we basically need the knight to pull it off. And it's more than sufficient, but yeah. I was just curious. Curiosity kills the cat, but um, yeah. I mean, I have all these other, like, could I sacrifice both of my bishops to pull this off with some kind of style if I were down on pieces? Probably. But since we have the knight, use it. Oh, I can mate with three silver. Six, three. Silver, five, three. Uh, silver, five, two. Uh, king, six, two. Silver drop. King back. Oh! That is cool. Yeah, and that mates. Yeah, well, that's really nice. I mean, yes, it's not the shortest mate. Yes, in Shogi we value the shortest mate. But um, it's good to know that, like, with this supporting gold, if the king is boxed in to some kind of corner, uh, three silvers can do it. Um, now, typically the king can be boxed in by pawns, not by this horse, but still. Yeah, just solve Sume to get better at this stuff. You're, you're right. Yeah, sorry. I don't mean to obsess over this. Huh. But yeah, in chess, it's rare to have a... And probably in Shogi, it's rare to have a non-checking move. Uh, non-capturing. Non-forking, even. That's just um, very strong. Um, like, a lot of shogi moves that are strong usually have some sort of immediate tactical element to them. Uh, here we're just aiming at the king, and the king has nowhere to run. And that can happen. It's just, I... I mean, you've seen me struggle. I need to practice more sume. That is really what I'm saying. Um... But yeah, there's multiple ways here. I was considering this, I was considering this. And if I practice more Sumed, I'd get better at finding this stuff. <laughs> well, yeah, if I could spot these mates, then I would certainly put my pieces on better squares in most games. And, like... Here, all of my pieces are on their ideal squares. Um, that's just, that's how this game worked out. 
um, as giving this game my full effort, like I give many games. And here, this time I was rewarded by spotting some tactics and happening to manage my time a bit better. Um, yeah, here I got super anxious. Um, uh, but yeah, my opponent and I were both very excited at this point. So yeah, what a game. So that's, uh, out of a six-player, I think, double elimination tournament that's uh, the second round, my first game. So I probably have at least one, well, at least two more games to go, because I've not lost a game yet. Um, so we'll see how it goes. If any luck, we'll end up having a rematch at some point. Um... So, and yeah, now we understand that when I play, um, yeah, in fact, one thing that I've learned and appreciated here is if we're playing double swinging rook, um, I appreciate that, you know, maybe I don't want to play fourth file or central file rook in this case. Maybe even at the cost of having to improvise a bit, um, maybe I want to play my rook somewhere else. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I am doing a good job at <laughs> Although, yeah, we've had games against Abigail before, but we're getting better, so... Yeah, we're doing well trying to justify the strongest one cue. <laughs> As a beginner, we just try to play our best, keep improving each game, try to learn something from each game. This game, there was so much to learn from because there were so many things that we both uh, surprised each other with. Oh no! Oh no! Well, good luck finding your crown. I'm sure you'll get it back soon. At least until I actually practice Sume, like I keep saying I need to, and I put down the keyboard and stop coding. But we'll see when that happens. So yeah, thanks to everybody for helping with this uh, post-game analysis. Uh, it's quite an adventure. Thanks to everybody for watching. Um, we'll have to look forward to the next round. Uh, we're playing at a pace of two games a week. So we'll see when my next game ends up being. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time.